Yeah, your boy's back at it like a crack at it. I just wanted to make a quick update video, let you know what's been going on for the last couple weeks with me, man. It's been a headache. Yep, I am Bob Taylor. It's been aggravation on the phone, screaming at these people, literally screaming at these people just to get my route done, man. This is terrible. I know I talk about being positive all the time, but you can only be positive for so long. Dealing with C.H. Robinson, I'm talking to this person, this person. Nobody knows what's going on. Man, they had me hot. Boy, I was 38. I'm so glad I got through this week or this last nine days because it was a whole nine days. It took forever. But I still secured the bag. Bro, it's been nine days with the same load. This is terrible, man. C.H. Robinson can't get it together. Right now, I just got it unloaded. I'm picking up the, the, my empty trailer right now. I had to drop it here and leave it here for three days. Bro, I've been to Zephyr Hills, went to Zephyr Hills to pick it up, went home, came to deliver it. They denied it because all the pallets of water went forward and it was stacked, bro. Not right, so they denied the load. Then I had to go over to, then I had to turn around, come back, and went home. It took them two days to figure out what I was doing. Then I had to go back to fucking Zephyr Hills because they told me to deliver it, to return it there. I go back to return it, right? I go back to Zephyr Hills to return the load. And then they're telling me that I don't have the right paperwork to return the load. And I'm like, what? What does that mean? You got to be kidding me. So I had to go back home, sat there for another day or so. And then... um. I go back to Miami because they tell me to deliver it again. And they're like, well, we never told him to come back. You know, we denied the load for a reason. So I'm sitting here in Miami. The guy comes out. He's like, you can drop the trail and leave it for about three days until we get to it. Or you can come back in three days and have us unload it. He said, it's going to take all day to restack all those pallets, though. So I was like, let me just drop the trailer. I'm going to leave it here. Do what you got to do, you know. And then when it's empty, call me. So finally, I'm on my way back. I'm back here now. Mind you, I've been billing C.H. Robinson $2.50 a day. And every time I've moved, they're paying me $3 a mile. So right now, I'm at the point where... Oh my God, hold on. Bro, this is a mess. He's trying to back in here. This guy's blocking me. This is terrible. This is terrible. Get it together, guys. God. All right, let me go ahead and move. Uh, my bad, I had to move. But anyway, so yeah, they're telling me, they, they, we got them up to three grand. They sent a new Raycon. Now I'm charging them an extra 1500 because I had to sit on the load for another three days plus some, to get fuel mileage or uh, the mileage and uh, pay per mile. So um, I'm, all, I'm asking for another $1,500. So I want $4,500 for this route instead of the three grand and please believe i'm about to fight for this next fifteen hundred dollars because two weeks of pay for only forty five hundred dollars that's not worth it you know what i'm saying and there's no reason i had to sit that long with this load i'm just getting back to the yard now bro listen what i'm saying the freight has been horrible bro i don't know what it is about the freight right now but it's been really slow there's nothing out there and i'm looking on one of these facebook pages and there's guys taking loads for $1.50, $1.75. Bro, my, my truck can't run nothing under, I mean, $2.15 is what it costs to run my truck. And that's not even profit, you know what I mean? So I'm looking for anything $3 and above. I don't know how they're running for $1.50 a mile. I don't get it. And I don't have a fuck, I don't have a truck payment. So that's, I mean, it's blowing my mind. But anyway, um, yeah, I just got back. I've been dealing with C.H. Robinson. I'm still trying to get them to send me another Raycon. Yeah, so they did end up sending me a new Raycon. And you, as you can see here, it says $18 a mile that I got, but I really didn't. That's only because I had to keep going back and forth and forth and back. It was terrible. With the total price of $4,500 on it. Um, but as soon as it gets here, I'm going to scan this paperwork in. I keep telling them I haven't went and got the trailer yet. 
or the paperwork, the, the proof of delivery. I keep telling them I have it until they send me the uh, rate con. So once I get the rate con, then I'll just go ahead and send the proof of delivery so I can get paid. But um, yeah, it's been a mess. It's been terrible. Um, my back went out on top of that. My back had went out. I went to go pick up the, my cooler and my back went out. I mean, I couldn't even breathe. It took the, took the air out of me. So I've been in a messed up position, but at the same time, stuff happens for a reason. And my reason was I was still able to get paid something even though my back went out, you know, because I couldn't drive. And it was, thank God that I couldn't drive and I was still getting paid. Always, you gotta always look at the positive. And when something's holding you back, you know, um, it's a lesson. It's a lesson to be learned. When you're failing, when you're failing, you feel like you can't get ahead. It's only because it's a learning experience. It's not a failure. You're just learning something from it. Figure out what that, what that is that you need to learn from it. Failure is a wonderful teacher. It's the only way to learn. You have to fail. Failure is a part of the process to becoming successful. I tell people this all the time. Michael Jordan, the greatest basketball player in the world, he took 946 game-winning shots. 946 times since he was in high school, the ball has been in his hand to take the game-winning shot with no time on the clock. He has only made 146 of those. He has missed over 700 times, but he has made 146. You know what they write about? When he make it. They write about when you make it. So guess what? When you get through failing, 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 all you gotta do is make one.